catastrophic AI events. Paul, I mean, you come up with the best uh, descriptions that I'm just, I, 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 what's going on here? Hey, listen, you know, I'm convinced that it's possible that we could have a catastrophic AI event at some point in the future. Um, the problem is I started, I was thinking about writing uh, about catastrophic AI events and how they happen and how you would handle it. And I started looking for resources and there aren't very many resources. There's a lot of stuff on, you know, what you can do with AI. And uh, well, what do you mean by a catastrophic AI event? You mean like AI goes crazy and like Terminator, taking yeah, like Terminator, Skynet. <laughs> AI goes crazy or AI causes a huge uh, event that uh, results in a lot of uh, financial damage to a company. Uh, if you think about it, there's there's millions and millions of people using uh, GPT and various uh, large language models right now, and uh, you know people can't use anything without thinking about a lawsuit. So if something goes wrong, then uh, that may be catastrophic to a person, or it could be catastrophic to uh, to a company. Yeah. So what but, should we be doing? What are the resources that uh, that you found? <laughs> Well, the two, two biggest resources I found were a, a, a paper by uh, UC Berkeley and one by NIST. And they're both very comprehensive. The uh, UC Berkeley intent on the paper that they wrote is to uh, kind of help NIST out in, in terms of uh, organizing uh, resources and material for evaluating uh, a risk, you know, trying to determine, you know, how big it is and if it exists and and how it happened and that type of thing and uh, uh, resources to uh, kind of get things straightened out. So, so both of those are really good papers. So I would, if anybody's looking to uh, uh, organize some material on uh, just getting prepared, I, I would suggest starting off with those two, but uh, it, it would be a good idea for, uh, you know, companies to start looking at, uh, you know, how they're going to handle things in the future when something goes off the rail. It could be intentional or unintentional. Paul, everything you bring to the show is very interesting. And I also love that you bring real research papers from academics. Here's the one from uh, Berkeley, and uh, here's the one from NIST, and those will be in the show notes. So if you are scared of a cataclysmic AI event happening, uh, you should check these out and protect yourself. But I do want to remind everybody, the show is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, don't take anything that is investment advice or, I don't know, don't sue me for anything we've said on catastrophic AI events either, please. <laughs> yeah. I would appreciate that. In let fact, me just, let my me just recommendation is for you, now. not nobody to use AI. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, well, let me add one thing here, Pat. Uh, I, I was on a call this morning with the... Uh, IBM developers that are working on Watson X. And uh, people might look at uh, governance as some issue that they may not have to be concerned about. But uh, IBM has put a lot of work into to Watson X governance. And uh, they made, made it, uh, their product a very safe product and, and trustworthy. And uh, I would certainly uh, encourage people to, you know, at least uh, look at some type of governance product. No, I appreciate that. That's sage advice, particularly if you're a regulated industry, government, defense, exactly. all those uh, good things. 